Today on the show, we are talking business with Factory Six, and we are talking movies with this guy. I like movies. Mm -hmm. All this and more happening right here, right now on Talk 365 TV. Here we go. show everybody again I am Holly Love and this is Mr. Todd Summers. Hi everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me again. Well we needed to get together and do a talking movies. It's been so long I just needed an entire show to catch up with you. So oh, what's wow. been going on? Tell me everything. Well gosh you know uh, my my boys and I yes. went for a backpacking trip. I saw that on Facebook. Last weekend we went up to Ashley National Forest. Ooh, where's that? Which is if you go out east Kay. up over Strawberry Duchesne, okay. Roosevelt, and then you go north up into the hills. Mm. Now, Holly, this is this was a five mile hike. Okay, straight up. It felt like it. Were you that's, tired? That's where I'm going with this. <laughs> I'm 56, out of shape, never had endurance. <laughs> My boys are a lot, you know, they're young, fit. They're hikers. They're hikers, and I huffed and puffed. I'm just now recovering. <laughs> It was, but it was beautiful. It, it was so pretty. Out I was going to say, how did you know how to find it, your boys? Yeah, my boys have been there before. It's a little scouting trip that they did before, a couple cool. of years ago, and it's just this little lake uh, at about ten thousand two hundred feet elevation, mm -hmm. up in these beautiful. We saw deer and elk Ooh. and moose. Moose are scary. Yeah. Were yeah. you a little nervous when you saw no, the moose? No, we were more worried about bear because it's bear country. Oh, up I'm there. worried about bears always. But yeah, we didn't see anything, but. Uh, we had a blast. Nice. We had a blast. Well, you were saying you rediscovered the outdoors, which I think mm. most people are right now. Yeah. I was telling you, we did our annual trailer crawl up in Lava Hot Springs. We actually have been going to a little campsite just above there mm -hmm. called Caribou. Have you been to yep. the golf course up yep, there? Yeah, I have. Super cute. They have nice little bathrooms, and we were all social distancing. And I, I know we talked about it a little bit with Trip, but if you missed it, we were trolls. We always dress up like something, and I don't think we were all so happy to be there. Because we've, it feels like you've been locked oh, yeah. up a little bit. And luckily, we live in a state where you can do all that real close. Right. Well, the bear thing, too, I was going to say, when my brother had a cabin up above Camas, yeah. up there, I think Browns Canyon or something like that, it was so beautiful. And when we first started up there, there was a lake up there, and we knew there were moose. And mm -hmm. I mean, I know to be scared of moose. And I know to be scared of bears. Trust me, it's like my life story. I have like a fear. My brother and I, we would get up at like the crack of dawn and go hiking. And this was back when we were both in shape. So clearly not right now. And um, we would go hike up the hills and like all over the place. And we had no idea. And I blame him because he actually lived there and mm -hmm. had a cabin up there. And we'd go every summer. Mm -hmm. And then all of the neighbors were out and about one day and it happened to bring up to him like, you go hiking? Like, what are you thinking? There are bears and bear break-ins. And like, he'd it, two summers in a row, no idea. And then right after he found out, he came walking around a corner and there was like his son and a bear and a... Anyway, it was really? like the whole thing came around 360. But luckily, I didn't get eaten by one, which yeah, was good. I've somehow escaped it. But it's always my fear Yeah. to run in. I don't know why. I mean, I think I just need to meet a bear. I've got a story for you. I'll have to Bring it. Sometime. Bring it now. Now do we have yes, time? Yes, do it. I was uh, on a bus in high school going up to Boise. Okay. And a young girl was sitting in front of me, mm -hmm. had a t-shirt on, Sylv, uh, you like this too. It, on the back of her shirt said, bear bait. Oh. So I finally asked her, I said, you know, after we, we chatted a little bit and I said, what, what does your shirt mean? Right. And she said, well, two years ago, my family and I were in the Grand Tetons uh -huh. and I was attacked by a grizzly bear. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and so she had, she she was able to show us some scars on the back of her neck Aww. and stuff. But she got between a, a mother grizzly bear and her, her cubs. Right. And was mauled. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And lived to tell about yeah, it. Yeah. And apparently have a sense of humor about it. Yeah, she was great. 
Wow, that, I guess that's the best way to survive is if you can't cry, you laugh. Right. <laughs> Which brings us full circle to what's coming up next. We're going to be talking some business and hopefully laughing about the good things you can do to expand your business and stay afloat during, you know, new times, yeah. new ways to emerge. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right after this. Attention, if you owe money to the IRS, they're cracking down by garnishing paychecks and seizing assets. Don't let tax debt destroy your life. Call Optima Tax Relief. They're experts in the Fresh Start Initiative, a special IRS program that could save you thousands if you qualify. Optima's resolved over $1 billion of tax debt for their clients and will fight to get you the best deal possible. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-297-5963. Optima Tax Relief. I'm Chris Berman, and welcome back to the biggest auto protection show on earth. Brought to you by CarShield. If your car is out of warranty or close to expiring, you could get stuck paying thousands for an engine, transmission, or computer system breakdown. But when you have CarShield, you'll never pay for covered repairs again. CarShield makes sure you don't have to pay for expensive car repairs, and that's why I'm a CarShield customer. Call 800-970-0843, 800-970-0843. Today's Talk 365 TV's Wellness Minute is brought to you by Factory 6. Welcome back, everybody. We are talking business on our Business News You Can Use segment. And Todd Summers, you are a marketing expert. You are VP of Marketing, or where are you at now? Because you've been moved over to the U from yeah, University I'm Credit Union. More of development now. Okay. Which is kind of falls under the marketing umbrella. but. The, the word that you used, expert, scares me a little bit. I'm... Well, I mean, but you are. You've been in marketing. It's how I met you. Right. I, I, my very first audition was for Todd Summers at KJAZZ TV back right. in the day right. when KJAZZ was Larry H. Miller owned. Mm -hmm. That was how long ago? Like five minutes because I'm only 29. Right. So, I mean, you know, was, maybe five ago. years ago. Anywho, so marketing-wise, mm -hmm. though, I know we've seen lots of things change between you and I and where, when yeah. we were at KJS and right. what we were doing back then to when we were working together with University Credit Union right. and the way we're creating content. And we know video has always been important, but now more than ever, having a product that you can sell online, having a way to sell yourself online is more important than ever before in lieu of yeah. everything that we are dealing with right now. So online and video is just huge. You were saying some statistics that yeah. we've seen. Yeah, I remember reading once that I, I saw somewhere that it said that we retain 20% of what we read, uh -huh. but we retain 70% of what we see. Wow. So that just tells you, and that explains why YouTube is so popular, because people are on there watching anything they want. So most people that I'm working with, especially in our industry with TV and film, obviously we're a digital marketing agency as well. Uh, we work with Channel 4, we're here on CW, they are phenomenal to work with. So it, having a TV platform is so important, especially right now, but then creating content that will live long term and ways to put that content in front of your target market is what I've spent the last couple years working with really amazing mm -hmm. experts. So we have a bunch of doctors that we've created online consultations, which are like, you know, 20, 30 minute conversations with all the questions you would ask a hundred yeah. times. Yeah. And we also have a really incredible client called Factory Six. We've worked with them for a long time. They've been in the supplement and the manufacturing industry for over 15 years. Now, Utah is kind of like little Silicon Valley right. when it comes to businesses. And when it comes to the niche market of manufacturing and supplement manufacturing, we are known in Utah for manufacturing supplements. And these guys are leaders in this field. So what better way to grow your business, to expand your client client base and expand your client services than to have a product line. They specialize in hemp derived products, mm. which is an obviously a booming industry. It represents like a million different categories. Mm. I mean, from you can make clothing out of it. You can make uh, oils out of it. You could, I mean, they made a car out of it back really? in the day. Ford. Yes. So, I mean, <laughs> this industry is sort of a reemergence yeah. into an industry that historically our country was founded upon. We, yeah. uh, we knew how to use hemp in a very big way. So these guys have been so fun to work with because what they offer businesses of every size, their minimum order quantities is really low because they want to make it affordable and they want you to be able to test it with your audience and see if they have it. So what that does, it opens the doors to 
you know, somebody who's wanting to start it out of their garage and it, they've never done anything before because under 500 bucks, you can actually have a product line. Yeah, that's amazing. So they have a white label menu of products that you could choose from. Or if you know you want to customize something for your industry, you can work that out with them as well. They do all the labeling. Really, at the end of a couple of weeks, you literally have a box of product ready to sell. So if this is something that interests you, this is something you've been thinking about, you'd want to be involved in. And if you haven't thought about it, maybe it's something you should think about because your business can always stand to have some kind of growth yeah. um, and also people like you know massage therapists mm -hmm. because having those lotions and being able to sell things beyond those hours for dollars is so important especially with our healers and our wellness people so I invite you to check them out we've done a lot of content for them speaking of an online consultation we have a 30 minute piece of production we did with them where we really went through the history mm -hmm. of hemp drive products and everything they do and how they test it and how they grow it and where it comes from so it's really awesome information and then trent has some even more information coming at you right now with our wellness minute check it out today's talk 365 tv's wellness minute is brought to you by factory six hi this is trent with factory six and i have your talk 365 tv wellness minute so i'm sure you've noticed hemp derived products are all over the place in the grocery store in the gas stations you're finding them at your salons all over how do you know what products to get and which products to be aware of? Well, one of the things you really wanna look for is a website or a QR code that allows you to find what's called a certificate of analysis that will tell you what that product has been tested for, that it's been free of pesticides, herbicides, heavy metals, microbials. If that is not on that product packaging, beware. That is some product that you probably don't wanna take in because there could be all kinds of filthy stuff in there. So for more information on hemp-derived products or to find out how to start your own hemp-derived product line, here at Factory 6, we are a white label and custom product contract manufacturer ready to help you make your own product line. So log on to our website, fill out the contact form, and someone from our team will help you within 24 to 48 hours. And within one to two weeks, you could have your own product line ready to sell. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and my passion has always been to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. TV has helped my pillow become the amazing company that it is today. So my employees and I want to thank you with some of our best prices ever. Go to mypillow.com right now and click on TV specials. You'll get deep discounts on my pillows, mattress topper sheets, and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regular $89.99 for only $29.99 with your promo code. Attention, if you owe money to the IRS, they're cracking down by garnishing paychecks and seizing assets. Don't let tax debt destroy your life. Call Optima Tax Relief. They're experts in the Fresh Start Initiative, a special IRS program that could save you thousands if you qualify. Optima's resolved over $1 billion of tax debt for their clients and will fight to get you the best deal possible. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-297-5963. Optima Tax Relief. Talk 365 TV's Talking Movies, now with Holly Love and Todd Summers. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Holly, guess what? Tell me. We get to talk movies. <gasps> yes! What are we doing? Well, kind of the usual. The, the theaters are open again, finally. Okay. So you can go see movies. I'm not quite sure what the protocol is now. Do you? To go see a movie? I'm, I'm sure there's social distancing in the theater and maybe they're only letting a certain amount in. I, I think I'm not that sure. that's it. Call your favorite theater and find out what it takes to get in there and how early you need mm. to be there or if you need to place the reservation because obviously if you're itching to get back into theaters, yeah. I mean, it. I've missed it. I have too. I mean, I miss the whole the same. religion yeah. of the popcorn and the big drink. Yep and sitting down in the dark. Yeah. It's like, it's so fun. The great sound, the beautiful yes. picture in front of you. Yeah. Okay, right. so coming out in theaters, it's a little weird. Once again, because mm -hmm. we had like this big pause happening, we know like The Quiet Place. Right. Sylvia and I had a big plug with the Krasinski blunts or the blunt Krasinski. Miss Emily and John, it's our hashtag relationship goals. I'm in love with them. <laughs> have you seen their like feud that they have where they do the practical jokes yeah, with Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah, I have. It's hilarious. I don't know how I applied, apply to be their friend, but I would really like to. But we, yeah. were, we were campaigning for me to win to get to go and snuggle with them and watch their movie, even though I'm terrified of scary movies. But for them, 
So they were going to do a double uh, feature, and apparently that was paused and is happening not until September. Oh, okay. And then besides that, we've got a little time, right? Yeah, I think so. We've got uh, Unhinged oh. with Russell Crowe is coming out soon. I, it might be in theaters now. Uh, um, I think there's some good buzz about that. I saw an interview with him and Jimmy Fallon, mm -hmm. and of course he's over in the bush, basically, is what he said. He's like basically hiding with his parents, <laughs> and he's got all the, I don't know how many kids he has, but he was saying that his kids all wanted to be in Sydney, and he was like, what are you thinking the most, or wherever, like, you know, the busy, they are in the most busy cities, and he said the reason was Uber Eats. Really? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, we're not coming to you because there's no food. <laughs> so anyway, I thought That's that was funny. cute. But apparently he is a force in whatever this movie is. Yeah, I've not seen he's, a he's lot a, about it. Yeah, he always um, gives a great performance, no matter what he's in. You right. know, I think he's just a strong actor. Right. Okay, so let's get to the things that we can do and we know we can do, which is watch again. So beyond watching in theaters, we are here to tell you all about what to watch again. And if you're feeling a little stumped, because you've been home a lot and you're starting to get a little stir crazy with the watch agains, we have some advice. Yeah. Well, I know that you've always liked musicals. I right? love musicals. Yeah. Musicals were really popular with MGM. That's kind of their whole thing was back in the 30s and 40s. They had a whole division just for musicals. It's like I missed yeah. my calling. Yeah. Arthur my time Freed in life. Was one of the top producers. Pandro S. Berman, I think, was a, a top producer back then. Um, you know, and they had such great talent for those. Well, we were Williams talking about and, Esther Williams yeah. and growing up and the fact that I grew up with my mom and I mean at that time I had DVDs and VHS copies of movies that were some of her favorites but on like The Sound of Music, yeah. Mary Poppins of course, Esther Williams yeah. and we would watch AMC together, yeah. uh, Seven Year Itch which wasn't a musical but West Side Story. Mm -hmm. I mean these were movies that like I just were my childhood almost yeah. and my mom worshipped Esther Williams. Really? And you were saying that they created that genre for her. Can yeah. you imagine? Yeah. Well she was, now I can't remember quite exactly what her history was, but she right. was beautiful. Of course. And she was uh, a world-class swimmer. Uh -huh. I don't know if she went to the, the Olympics. Um, but worthy. Yeah, but but very, you know, fantastic swimmer. And somebody uh, discovered her. Right. I think she lived in Hollywood. They discovered her, did a couple of screen tests. Now, she did more movies than just the, the water ones, you know. Of course. Um, Neptune's Daughter was really big, A Million Dollar Mermaid. But um, yeah, they, they, she was so pretty and so good at swimming that they created this water ballet. I'm not quite sure what World. they called them. Yeah, it was just a synchronized great films. Swimming. Yeah, great I films. mean, if you wanted to be a synchronized swimmer, that was the era yeah. to go after it because there was like films being made about it. But those yeah. movies, so we recommend that, you know, maybe find a genre that you love, like make it classic movie month, make it musical movie month, and then that way you can go back and find some really great ones because this month on Netflix is the classic movie, yeah. Fiddler on the Roof. Now, I have seen the musical mm -hmm. multiple times. Um, it's amazing, I cry, talk about cry every time. It's yeah. such a great musical. I've never seen the movie. Oh, really? No. Oh, so you, I'm excited. So it. Netflix yeah. is it's starting. Let's talk a little bit about it. Okay. Well, the play came out in 1964. Mm -hmm. And then in 71, they came out with the movie starring Topol mm -hmm. and a bunch of other fine actors that I don't know sure. who they are. But we'll show them. We'll show them. But the, uh, the music in it is just, it's fun, it's powerful, it's haunting, it's right. emotional. Right. You know, it's such a, a, a biting story mm -hmm. that, uh, but they've interjected humor in it. Right. With the acting and the writing, and it's just, it's such a great, it's, I think it's one of the best um, musicals. musicals ever. Well, it's and that's fantastic. up against a lot, because during that time we had like My Fair Lady, mm -hmm. Hello Dolly, mm -hmm. when was like 72 from Bones on, what was that one? The Music Man, yeah. I don't know why I couldn't think of that one, that just came out. Now this goes back a little bit further, but um, the one with Judy Garland, Meet Me in St. Louis, mm -hmm. kind of the Christmas one, my yeah. favorite haunting, have yourself a merry little Christmas oh, when yeah. her red lips and red dress. Do you so do you get misty when you watch that? Every time. Yeah. And I keep trying to make all of, you know, like Andy and my family love it as much as me. Nobody really does. It's her red hair, red lips. They could just get me, it was my childhood. I yeah. wanted to be her. Right. It's true. I, I might have rubbed off a little. 
I don't know. All right, so last but not least, we have got our watch party. So, Toddy. Okay, y you know that I'm a, a rugged. I do. Extremely manly. Manly man. I've got motorcycles. He owns a motorcycle. Two of them. Two, and a BMW that's beautiful, Klaus. So, I found a series, a new series on Netflix that I've been watching. And you feel good about it? I feel good about it. Bring it. It's called The Girlfriend's Guide mm -hmm. to Divorce. I'm gonna tell you, it's sexy. Yeah. Because I've seen a couple it of is. the episodes, like most of the first season. Yeah, very well written. It's it's about a woman that plays a writer. It kind of centered around Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Her best friend is a former model or a current model. Her other best friend is Janine Garofalo, mm -hmm. who is fantastic. And she's a, an attorney, and it's hilarious. It's it is well really written. good, huh? Yeah, it's kind of like, if I may say, the woman's version of Californication. I would agree. Yeah. That is an excellent comparison. Not quite as saucy, right? but close. But still just as hot. So, oh. I mean, honestly, I love this show because I think it is such a great example of where we are at collectively. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe because it reflects my life and most people I know's life, which means, you know what? You might have had kids and had a whole marriage thing, but there's like this whole life that happens in your 30s and 40s. And I feel like Hollywood now reflects it so accurately yeah, yeah. and shows you how much more life you have and so much more you can bring to the table and that you shouldn't just think your life is over if you know your first marriage right. didn't work out or your right. second or your third. I only did two, but we're done at two. But anywho, back to, that one is really good, I love it. The other one before we go would be Shameless, which we both agreed, I watched the first couple seasons, mm -hmm. but you said you got a little, it I, went a little dark. Yeah, I went, well, the whole thing's dark from, from day oh, one. But, but it went way dark. It's still on air now. They're still doing new episodes now. Really? Yeah, I just, I got to season nine, and it was just too much. Of the same. Of the same, one bad thing after next. And it just, you know, it just But in the of, beginning, it really had oh, you lit up. You yeah, are so it's, excited. It, it's, listen, it's not for children at all. No. Uh, but it's funny. It's It's got great writing, great actor, and great cast. Right. It's produced, the, the showrunner is um, John Wells, uh -huh. who did West Wing. Everything. Everything, you know, he's fantastic. So right. it's really good if you have time. Right, check it out for really, really good TV. All right, well, Toddy, thank you for yeah. a little Talking Movies with me. We Love are super movies. excited. We love it. We've mm -hmm. got some good things to look forward to, both you know, in theaters being open, it'll be an adventure. So stay tuned with that. We'll just follow along and see what happens. And then we'll be right back with some more fun right after this. Hey everyone, I'm Holly Love and I am here at the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School with my good friend Dennis Parker. Dennis, I have three questions for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Number one, when do classes start? A person can uh, start with the online portion of the training anytime and then uh, come into the live classroom trainings as we have them scheduled. Who's signing up and why? We have uh, people who sign up to be certified clinical hypnotherapists who want to have those clinical skills to be able to affect behavioral modification. We have uh, people who are executives, or managers, or who want to have other career enhancements. And we also have grandparents and parents who want to know how to work with their own children and family. Number three, what happens if people mention that they saw us on Talk 365? We're offering a $200 textbook and CD package as part of their full registration. All of this information and more is available on the website. Log on and change your life today. Enroll now. Classes start soon. Brain Rehab Clinic is proud to announce that they're the first clinic in Utah to have on site the gyro stem. Welcome back everybody. All right, if you missed our first segment, we were talking about the re-emergence of camping and outdoor activities in our yeah. lives and how excited we are to be out and about doing those things. Mm -hmm. And you were recently camping and we were saying, I have a fear of obviously bears. Yeah. And you know, you would think predators out there in the world would be bears and wolves. mountain lions and wolves. Yeah. And you said, statistically speaking, it's moose. More people are killed each year by moose than they are bear, cougar, wolves, all the big 
carnivores. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? But I know why because we, I don't know. You and I both had said we'd seen this video. It must have gone viral at some mm -hmm. point from Alaska where a moose went crazy on like a bulldozer. Yeah. Like they they sort of have a hair trigger and when it goes off, it's like it's There's game no over. There's no coming back. Right. So did you see a moose? We, we did. It was across the lake. Mm -hmm. It was a... Uh, uh, big one with horns? A big one. No, it like was a, a female. Oh, okay. What, I'm not sure what a female moose is. Uh, a moosey? Mm -hmm. Maybe sat. like a moose with a, an accent? You know, a like moosey. French moose? I don't know what it Chocolate is. Chocolate flavor? A cow? Oh, a cow. Cow elk. Did she have babies? No, I didn't see anything. But they're, yeah. They're crazy. They're huge. They're, yeah. they're the size of a horse. And I guess, you know, if you make them mad, They'll come after you and stomp on you. So we were up at Bill's Island, Idaho. Um, my sister had a cabin up there for a while. And we got up early, another morning walk story of just, apparently my family does not get memos about wild animals. <laughs> we just get up early and go walking places <laughs> and don't think about it. So we came around this corner. And granted, now Bill's Island, you're out there in the middle of, you know, Idaho country. Yeah. But... It, it feels like a neighborhood. These are all big, beautiful cabins and cars and little cul-de-sacs mm -hmm. and little neighborhoods. And so we're walking around and we round this corner and there, I mean, between me and the camera is a mom and her two babies. Really? That's so why I don't work out anymore, Todd. I've just given up because I think the wildlife, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it to stay afloat so I don't you know, get trampled by anything. No, yeah. I, I gotta get out there. I'm excited for this like summer yeah, and for fall to just yeah. really get breathe some fresh yeah. air and go do some fun things. What about skydiving? I think you were saying you wanted well, to do that. Okay, so uh, um, my, my sister-in-law, my mm -hmm. brother's wife, when she turned 50, sorry, Sherry, <laughs> wanted to do skydiving. Okay. And I said, I'll do it with you. Okay. And we haven't done it. Oh. Which. We should look I'm it up and see. I'm not upset I, about it. You have to have, tandem. You have to tandem the first time you go out. And I think you do like a two hour course. Uh huh. And then you jump. But people that have done it said that it's pretty amazing. It's pretty cool. I, um, I like my spine. <laughs> like a lot and I've broken it before so I don't Ooh. think you could pay me to do it ever yeah because I mean eventually you have to land some wrong a little bit yeah. it or the odds are a bit against yeah. you to land wrong yeah, I won't is, put that out for you though Todd because I'd say go do it it would be fun I'll come we'll and see. like take we'll video see. okay I think it sounds like a fun thing how is the motorcycling happening how's the gang um, it's the gang is good big green daddy yeah how is he? He is uh, very dirty and dusty. Really? Yeah. I haven't ridden him like I, I'd like to. So where do you guys go? Like what's a good trek a that good would, trek like to your go favorite trek? Is probably up Morgan. Okay. Up in that area. Up, you can go up to Hennifer, go up Morgan Canyon mm -hmm. to, to the East Reservoir. East. Is that up by Ogden? East. No, it's up, It's the other way. It's the other way. I clearly But it's just beautiful up there and it's windy roads and you'll see a lot of bikers out. A lot of biking too. I know. You know, this time. With, yeah. Yeah. I, so. I think you're going to need to get some new leathers. Maybe you could be like, what could be the name? The Pandemic uh, Pariahs? I don't know. What's the, a good biker name? The the COVID Cavalier, uh, the COVID Cavalry. The COVID Kings? Yeah. Ooh. Send us your best biker name now to our Facebook name, page. And I think we should start a biker gang even if you don't have a bike. Maybe if you just have a bicycle. You've got the helmet, the glasses, and the mask. Just, I just need a good reason for a sexy leather jacket. I mean, who doesn't? One of the best things that I ever did because of motorcycling mm -hmm. was take my wife to buy leather chaps. And I'll end it right there. I think that's all we need to do is all imagine buying that. Except all I can think about is Ross in his leather pants. <laughs> One of my favorites ever. Which would be another binge-worthy TV series Friends, if you haven't watched yeah. Friends. Yeah. You can never go wrong. All right. Well, Todd Summers, thank you so much for yeah. spending some time with us. Good to see you again. It's Thanks for having It's been so me. fun. Yeah. So be sure and tune in tomorrow. We'll have more great stuff. In the meantime, have a wonderful day. Get out there and enjoy. Be safe. Be healthy. Be happy. And come back again soon.